Singapore. Singapore is a very small, heavily urbanized island city-state in Southeast Asia, located at the end of the Malayan Peninsula between Malaysia and Indonesia. Most of Singapore is flat, with more than half of Pula Ujong only 50 feet or 15 meters above sea level. However, the middle of the island includes Bukit Timah Hill, the highest natural point in Singapore. It stands 545 feet or 166 meters, about the height of a 44-story building. It has built on its advantageous geographical location to become one of the world's top transportation hubs for sea and air cargo. Singapore's container ports are the busiest in the world. They offer a choice of 200 shipping lines with links to some 600 ports in 123 countries. Once a colonial trading post for the British, Singapore is an incredible city-state in Southeast Asia where remnants of the colonial period stand alongside skyscrapers. Although Singapore's contemporary architecture is mind-boggling, the island is also brimming with Chinese, Indian, Malay, and British heritage, making it a melting pot of rich cultural experiences. At Singapore's Art Science Museum, art and science combine to show visitors new ideas, innovations from across the centuries, and new technologies. Marina Bay Sands is a jaw-dropping architectural landmark of the Singapore skyline. The crowning jewel of Jewel Changi Airport, the Rain Vortex is a spectacular 14 meter tall in their waterfall, the tallest in the world. The striking Merlion sculpture on the Merlion Park waterfront is one of the Singapore's most famous landmarks. Its lion's head represents Singapore's original name Singapura, which means Lion City, while its fishtail symbolizes the country's early history as a fishing village. In late 1880, Lord Hastings, the British Governor General of India, appointed Lieutenant General Sir Stanford Raffles to establish a trading station at the southern tip of the Malay Peninsula. The British were extended by dominion over India and their trade with China was expanding. They saw the need for a port of gold to rebuild, revitalize, and protect the merchant fleet as well as to prevent any advances made by the Dutch in the East Indies. After surveying other nearby islands in 1819, Sir Stamford Raffles and the rest of the British East India Company landed on Singapore which became their strategic trading post along the Spice Route. Eventually, Singapore became one of the most important commercial and military centers of the British Empire. The island was the third British acquisition in the Malay Peninsula after Penang and Malacca. These three British settlements, which are Singapore, Penang, and Malacca, became the Straits Settlements in 1826 under the control of British India. By 1832, Singapore became the center of government of these three areas. And on April 1, 1867, the Straits Settlements became a crown colony and was ruled by a governor under the jurisdiction of the Colonial Office in London. Singapore is a cosmopolitan city with 37% of its population born outside the country. Singaporeans, even those of the same ethnic group, have many different first languages and cultures. Singapore English is a set of varieties of English language native in Singapore. English language is spoken in Singapore of which there are two main forms. The Singaporean Standard British English and Singapore Colloquial Creole English, known as Singlish. It is an English-speaking Creole language. I realize that you guys say wait a while. Yeah, wait a while. So for you, that means like wait, like, wait a, just wait. Like wait a while. But wait, how long? Wait, wait. But it how literally long? means wait a while, like a while. A while can uh, vary from uh, <laughs> person to person. That's the thing, that's the thing. Yeah. So when I've seen it be used, it's like wait a while just means like wait a few seconds. Whereas when we say wait a while, we mean like wait like quite a while. All right. If the person 
<laughs> takes their time, then it's really gonna be a while. <laughs> so it just depends on the person. Yeah, wait a while. You know, like like to stall, stall in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, just wait a while. How do you know how long to wait for? Just, just a while. The <laughs> <laughs> other day, I went to, um, I was like in the MRT toilet. Uh -huh. And the cleaner is like, wait a while, wait a while, I'm, I'm cleaning. Right. And I was like, oh, like I can't wait too long because you're like, how long is this going to take? Right. And she was literally finished in like 10 seconds. Yeah, wait a while. But that wasn't a while. That yeah, was however, <laughs> if, if, if I were to clean the toilet, then it would take about half an hour. So I asked you to wait a while, so you might just be stuck outside. I find it quite confusing because I'm just like, <laughs> how long do you want me to wait? This is my biggest pet peeve. You add S's on the ends of words. So like, luggages, footages. Clothing stuffs. So you guys just say luggage clothes. Correct. Because it's an it's called this thing called an uncountable noun. So like uh -huh. you you can't count how many of that thing there is. So right. you don't need to add an S. Like it's it's already basically plural. Right. So like you wouldn't need to say luggages, it'd just be luggage because but I know if that there that's if there were four of them, you'd say Of what though? The luggage. Yeah, yeah just say luggage. Four luggage. Correct. But <laughs> you need to tell people there are a lot of them, so four luggages. <laughs> yeah, but like you already know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. So stuffs. Alright, stuffs. You can admit that stuff sounds weird. Don't you think? It doesn't sound right. Stuffs. <laughs> sounds perfectly fine to me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if it's like equipment, like you wouldn't say equipment, you just say equipment. Or if it's footage, you just if you just say footage. You don't just say footage. But can you count the number of <laughs> <laughs> This episode is a guide to Singlish. I am Singaporean, I am born and bred here, have been living here for 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. So Singlish is kind of like a slang. We kind of have our own accent which is really strong. We use certain words that other people may not understand. A lot of these funny words that we use are borrowed from the languages that are spoken in Singapore like Malay, Tamil, Chinese and all the other like Mandarin dialects. So if you are a foreigner watching this, today you'll be learning the basics of Singlish. So one of the key features of Singlish is that sentences or words are often shortened. I guess Singaporeans do this because it's just a more efficient way of getting your message across or maybe we're just lazy. So for example, never mind becomes never mind. I don't want it becomes the one. Excuse me becomes excuse like that becomes like that. Another key feature about Singlish is that the sentence structure is often just directly translated from Mandarin. So if for example you wanted to know the time, instead of saying, what is the time now in proper Queen's English, you say, now what time? Because that's translated from Mandarin, Xinjiajian. Another feature of Singlish is that we love to repeat words. For in fact, for example, you ask a Singaporean, may I take this? The Singaporean would reply, take, take, just take, 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 take. Ah. Another key feature of Singlish is that we tend to be very lazy and we tend not to complete the word. So the end of the word is probably just dropped. If you want to say act with the T, right? Singaporeans would just say act. If you want to say find, you would most likely say find. It's really difficult for me to say find. It sounds really pretentious, like I'm really up my own ass. Next, the top 5 essential Singlish words that you have to learn. The first one is quintessential to all Singaporeans, which is L-A-H, LA. What LA means? Nothing. It means nothing. It's a little bit like saying, this is the best shit, yo. You know, yo, what does it mean? Yo doesn't mean anything. It's just to make a sentence sound a little bit more casual. So instead of saying, I can, which is like a very serious answer to somebody and it's not casual and friendly, you say, can nah. The next word is ayo. And Singaporeans love to use this word as a kind of exclamation for something that usually isn't very positive. For example, ayo, why so expensive? It's like, what? Why so expensive? For example, if you spilled something, you can say, ayo, spill. So the next word is one of my favourite words to use all the time and it is Xiao It simply means crazy and usually it comes with this hand action to the temple Wow, eh, she's over there eating her underpants eh Xiao ah Next word is Xian Most of the time it can mean like bored or that you're feeling restless or defeated If you say, how was your exam result? The person will reply, ah yeah, all si la, Xian Singaporeans also love to say what lao eh, which is an exclamation that doesn't really mean anything also. It's a bit of disbelief or shock. Usually at something that's not good, you would say, what lao eh, pak, I way out of the line. If I'm walking outside and then I'll just be like, what lao eh, why so hot today? 